Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. In this video, I'm going to show how to make a vibration or a haptic feedback when any event happens you want in Unreal Engine. This works on iPhone, and I'm pretty sure it works on Android as well. So yeah, let's get started. Because um, I've used this in my iOS games before, and it worked uh, as expected. So basically, what's going to happen is... Uh, whenever when on an event that you want, you'll just feel a vibration. For the example today, I'm going to make it so that when the player touches the ground, so let's say I jump now, right then when I just landed on the ground, I would feel a vibration. If I was on a phone, obviously I can't feel it on the computer, but once you export it for a phone, like an iPhone or an Android, uh, it'll work. So first thing you want to do is open up your um, your character, so right here. I'm using a third person character and I've already added some stuff here but that doesn't even matter so we're just adding new stuff basically I'm gonna do event landed so when the player touches the ground and then after this is the code that I'm showing you that will do the vibrations so you want to uncheck this box right here you need to uncheck that then just search for play dynamic force feedback just like that this block right here, that's what you want. And for the target, just do get player uh, controller. Whoops, sorry. Uh, you actually, when, when you get that, you want to recheck this box and then uh, get player controller. And select this one. And then you want to set the duration to 0.1 seconds. I don't know why they have it set to negative by default because what that does is it makes it so that if you run this block here more than once, it just doesn't work. You can only do it once, so you probably don't want that. Um, and if you set it to a smaller amount, that's better because it's not like this duration is actually how long the vibration is lasting for. The vibration is always just a tap, but the duration is just how long this block runs for until the completed is run and then intensity so one is a like a heavy vibration so 0.5 is like a pretty normal vibration so I'll just try that out and see how it goes and then once completed I'll just print string and I'll just say uh, dyne, or I'll just say feedback I guess all right, and now let's compile and save. Then we'll just run this. And now if I touch the ground, I get a thing that says feedback. And so if you had this on a phone, then that feedback, would you would feel it, you know? It would feel like a vibration or a haptic feedback. So that's how it works in Unreal Engine. That's how you make it. Um, and yeah, I've used this in some of my games, so yeah um see you guys in the next video